Elon, what kind of crazy dream would persuade you to think of trying to take on the auto industry and build an all-electric car? Well, it, it goes back to when I was in, in university. I thought about what, what are the problems that are most likely to affect the future of the world uh, or future of humanity. I think it, it's extremely important that we have sustainable transport and sustainable energy production. That sort of overall sustainable energy problem is, is the biggest problem that we have to solve this century. Independent of environmental concerns, uh, in fact, even if producing CO2 is good for the environment, given that it's, we're, we're going to run out of hydrocarbons, we need to find some sustainable means of, of operating. Or, but most of, yeah. most of um, American electricity comes from burning fossil fuels. How can an electric car that plugs into that electricity help? Right. Um, there, there's two elements to that answer. One is that even if you take the same source fuel, and, and produce power at the power plant and to use it to charge electric cars, you're still better off. So if you take, say, natural gas, which is the most prevalent to hydrocarbon source fuel, if you, if, you, if you burn that in a modern general electric natural gas turbine, you'll get about 60% efficiency. If you put that same fuel in an internal combustion engine car, you get about 20% efficiency. Mm. And the reason is, in the stationary power plant, you can afford to have something that weighs a lot more, uh, is voluminous, and you can take the waste heat and run a steam turbine and generate a secondary power source. So, in effect, even if you take in transmission losses into account and everything, even using the same source fuel, you're twice as, at least twice as better off charging an electric car than burning it at, at the power plant. Okay. That scale delivers efficiency. Yes, yeah. um, it does. And then the, the other point is, we have to have sustainable means of power generation anyway, electricity generation. So given that we have to solve sustainable electricity generation, then w it, it makes sense for us to have electric cars uh, as, as, the, as the mode of transport. So we, we've got some video here of, of uh, the Tesla being assembled, um, which if you could play that, that first video. Um, so what's, what, what, what is innovative about this process in this vehicle? Sure. So in order to accelerate the advent of electric transport, and, and I should say that I think actually all modes of transport will become fully electric, with the ironic exception of rockets. Um, <laughs> so um, you, you, there's just no way around Newton's third law. The, the, uh, the, the question is how do you accelerate the advent of electric transport? And in order to do that for cars, you have to come up with a really energy efficient car. So that means making it incredibly light. And so what you're seeing here is the only all aluminum body and chassis car made in, in North America. In fact, we applied a lot of rocket design techniques to make the car light despite having a very large battery pack. And then it also has the lowest drag coefficient of any car of its size. So it, as a result, the energy usage is very low, and it has the most advanced battery pack, and that's what gives it the range that, that's competitive. So you can actually have on the order of a 250-mile range. I mean, th those battery packs are in incredibly heavy but you think the, the, math, the math can still work out intelligently by combining light body, heavy battery, you can still gain spectacular efficiency. Exactly.